Hello and welcome back to the channel and this is just the promised follow-on video to EastEnders where I said that Coronation Street came a very close second place to EastEnders in getting a spot in the Hall of Fame. EastEnders took the spot in the Hall of Fame but Coronation Street was very close and I think it deserves its own video and there's also a little bit of a story behind this dx as well and if you look at the date on this one it was released in january 2003 so it's over 15 years old and as i recall i think this was either the first or one of the first real photo dx's because this layout was made using pictures of the machine glass that I sent to Alt Altered Emu here and they came from those glasses came from a machine in an arcade on the Isle of Man. Now it was an arcade in Douglas that I used to go to quite regularly. It was not a bad arcade actually. They had, they had loads of fruit machines but they had video games, they had pinballs, they had decent sit-down video games like full outrun two cabs and all that kind of thing. So I was something of a regular in there and on, on reasonable terms with the sort of the owners and the staff and obviously you notice when you go to an arcade regularly you know your machines disappear from time to time and in the back of my head I'd always kind of wondered what happened to them and one day I went in there and the Coronation Street that they had which was on a terrible £10 jackpot it wasn't a nice one to play but I noticed that it was kind of turned off and at the back of the arcade now MFME, the very first version of MFME had been released at the end of 2002 and I was aware that people were after resources to make DX layouts for the M1AB technology which was first emulated in that first version of MFME. So I saw this Coronation Street turned off at the back of the arcade, figured it was on its way out, so I thought oh, I wonder if I can get the resources for that. So when I was getting change at the, the cash box, the owner was in there, and I sort of said to him, well, excuse me, fellow, you don't mind me asking, but um, what do you do with the machines when, when you kind of retire them from active service? You know, where do they go to? And he says, oh, we just take them out in the backyard and, and smash them to pieces with sledgehammers. And I'm like, oh, what? He says, and he's like, yeah, yeah, there's nothing else we can do with them. Um, we can't sell them. We're not allowed to sell them on the Isle of Man because of the legislation here. I know in the UK, I think you're allowed to sell them as long as you disable the coin mech or something like that. You can't even do that here. So he explained to me that they simply cannot sell them on the Isle of Man and it's not worth their while to send them back to the UK to sell them because they're just not worth enough it's you know by the time they transported it over there and sorted it out a sale it's not worth their while so he he explained to me that that when they retire machines they literally take them out the back and dismantle them with sledgehammers so I was like, ooh, crikey, well, I can see that you've got a Coronation Street there, which I guess is going. If, if you don't mind, could I have the, the sort of glasses out of it before you smash it to bits? And it, it was obviously a slightly unusual request. I don't think he'd ever been asked that before, but he was like, yeah, I guess so, if you want. I said, um, and, and the real bands, if you could as well, please. And he's like, yeah, okay. So true enough, I went back a few days later and he had the rest of the machine of bless its soul had undoubtedly met a, a grim fate at the, at the hand of several sledgehammers, but he had got the machine glasses, the top glass and bottom glass, the three main reel strips and the high-low reel that you can see there. So I said, thank you very much, went on my way. I didn't think to ask for the button inserts can see there we don't have the real button inserts on this but I went home with the glasses and the reels and then set about trying to take decent pictures of them now the pro I did have what was a pretty good digital camera at the time but the technology was nothing like it is today and I struggled dreadfully to get decent pictures of these glasses I tried all combination of light settings it was impossible to use the flash obviously so I'm, I'm mucking about with table lamps and combinations of having the overhead lamps turned on and all sorts and then I'd hook the camera up I think it was like, like an old USB 1 connection so it took a while to get the pictures off the bloody thing may even have been was it yeah it must have been usb one but it was slow but after enough faffing about i got what i thought were the best pictures i could of the glasses and of the real strips 
and then sent them off to Altered Emu. I guess I must have emailed them to have loaded them somewhere, which is probably painful enough on a 56k modem. One way or another, got the resources to him, and the result was this layout, which, even though it's over 15 years old, I think still looks pretty good today. And as I mentioned in the EastEnders video, uh, Altered Emu, of course, is still around, and he has released a few layouts already for MFME V5 and 6. So, I mean, if we're critical, it's not perfect by modern standards. If you look at, say, the nudge lamps here, they should all be exactly the same tone. You can see there's a little variation there in the shades of orange that they are. Some of these these lamps are perhaps a little bit, you know, the cash value shouldn't be quite as kind of washed out as that, and there's some slight inconsistencies in the lighting in the values in the hair salon here. So, yes, you, you could be picky about it now, 15 years down the line, but fundamentally, this layout still looks great. It's still playable, and it is indeed, uh, like EastEnders, it's one that I will fire up from time to time and just put a few quid through it just for the enjoyment of playing the machine. Now, even though this looks quite different to EastEnders, and it's got a start-to-end trail rather than a lapper like EastEnders, EastEnders has, it's got a very, very similar feel to EastEnders. It, it's kind of like... They're, they're almost... On this three three pound cash, six pound token jackpot, they're almost interchangeable, really, in how they feel to play. I would be interested to know just how similar some of the code is behind the scenes. Um, like he says, it's got a great sample package. They haven't got the real voices, though. They've just got people doing quite bad northern accents rather than the actual samples of the characters like they had on EastEnders, which does cheapen it a little bit. You know, when you get to the end, it's like, Welcome to Rover's Return, and then Welcome to Trolley Dash, and Oh, no, not. Percy. Bit like EastEnders, I know every single sample on the bloody thing. So let's get some cash in, let's have a game. I mean, th there's not a huge amount to it. It's not like, say, I, I mean, Indiana Jones, where I really wanted to get all the different features because there are skill features in there that, that, and so many different ways of getting the jackpot. It's not like Double Chance, where there's like this true skill feature that you want to go for. Screenplay with the video screen, or say 777 heaven which is just this i do use that word again iconic low tech i mean for coronation street and eastenders i think they're just really good solid playable awps that that genuinely showcase how well they can work when they're on just a small stake and a small jackpot so let's put some money in let's put a tenner in and let's see where we get up to it kind of works on the same basic principle as east enders with the holds that you want to be going for holds on the feature symbols rather than the wind symbols because it is more likely to hold for the feature symbols but we've got grapes there which is good that's a nice start and we'll obviously you've got to gamble once to exchange F fairly standard stuff for the time but I never quite got the kiss of death about Coronation Street that I got on East Enders when you've got more than two quid. It does seem to be a little bit more... Oh, well, that's a good start, isn't it? Well, that's the easiest jackpot you're ever going to get. Shall we try? You know what? Obviously, I could have a jackpot there. Is that... Vol what do we think about that volume level? Is it about right? What are we on? Uh, there we are. Show. I, I can't quite be sure until... Oh, we'll, we'll put it up one. Let's carry on and see if we can get a feature. That, mm, paper, you cheeky devil. In fact, let, let's collect that. I want more money. So I'm going to reject it. Just such great sample packs on these old maygays. They really were. You cheeky devil. So you're going to offer me more. What we'll do is we'll, we'll just turn her down until... No, not happy, not good enough. You're going to have to offer me a jackpot. Wonder how much she'll I mean, it has offered a jackpot, so. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> I got myself sacked, I mean. Oh, no, oh bonus repeat, <laughs> there we are. I mean, I guess you wouldn't normally do this because you'd just collect the jackpot, but since we're in the emulator, 
I guess we may as well do things that you wouldn't do in real life. I want more money. You check it, devil. 280? Is she going to go above 280? That was a limit last time. Let's see. Nope, that's me lot. That's me lot. Two two pound eighty is the most she's prepared to offer in wages, I'm afraid, so let's carry on. See where we can get up to. So I have turned down a jackpot there. I mean we, we know what a jackpot is. What I'd like to do, because this it did occur to me afterwards that it didn't really happen on the East Enders video that I didn't actually get all the features, so Let's try and get the features. I mean, it has offered me... A, I forgot there. It can actually just offer you an exchange straight in sometimes. So, obviously, the jackpot's getting very close here. So, I think it is kind of like... Yeah, it's obviously... That's six nudges in it. Let's go to cabin. So, that it is obviously jackpot. Jackpot happy. It's got to go on for part two. Bit of a shaman there, isn't it? <laughs> that's a bit mean, isn't it? When you don't collect the jackpot. My word. We'll press on. We'll press... Oh, I get the hot pot. I, I get the hot pot for a quid. There we are. So let's uh, let's press on. I mean, I'd like to get the uh, the salon. I think the salon is kind of the equivalent of the um, the Frank at the cafe on East Enders, where where you can get a haircut. You decide it's not the one. Oh, bugger off! Decide it's not the one that you want. And you get another haircut, and every time you have to pay for it, and the money adds up. I'd like to get the fruit stall as well, because I talked about the fruit stall in the East Enders video, and didn't get it. That is actually, I would say that the fruit stall is possibly one of my favourite features be on East Enders and Coronation Street. I just love the way it can keep on repeating. So, what I'm going to do here, and which I didn't do in the East Enders video, is I'm not going to collect any easy jackpots like I got off the nudges there. Not going to collect any easy jackpots. Sorry, no nobody watches these videos to hear that, do they? Um, and I'm just going to hold out for the features and let, let's see what we can guess. Look at this, it, the jackpot's coming close every time. We're not going to collect that, obviously. Is the budgie ill? Yeah, the budgie is it, That is the sickliest budgie. It's a hypochondriac budgie, that. It really is. Poor thing spends, spends more time lying face down on the bottom of his cage than anything else, I think. There's an easy jackpot again. And I don't want to get run over. It does like to use this run over square. And this is I think this is a little bit like your um your wheel clamp and garage corner on East Enders, even though there is another wheel clamp up here on this. Any chance of a fruit stall? I've, ooh, okay, so we've got three pound cash at this point. Uh I I would always carry it. Oh, oh they're four pound cash. Now, the things that can basically the thing that can kill me here is the wheel clamp. And I think Bet can bin you off with something as well, one way or another. So that's an obvious of... Oh, crikey. Deary me, we're not too happy about that. But we have got wheel clamps. So it just goes to show that it can be super, super jackpot happy. And yet the feature will still kill you off if you don't collect it. I can, there must be a cherry up there, surely. No, apparently there isn't. No cherry up there. What is this? It's two, two something other than this track. I can't remember who it's by. It's some, some, It's actually starting to annoy me now because I can't remember who it's by. Is that going to be a jackpot again? Yeah, it's just absolutely throwing jackpots at me here and avoiding all the features. Now, this could be bad news. Dun, 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 dun. Nope, that is game over. Punctured. No good. So I'm, I'm not quite sure why it's refusing to let me have the features here when it's so jackpot happy. So that should be... See there, that should, he said, be a feature hole, but it is not. So somehow, I've gone through a tenner there. I mean, it's been trying to throw jackpots at me, which I've been turning down off the nudges, and for some reason, which I, I cannot throw... Because normally I would not play it like this. As soon as it offered you the jackpot, of course, you're just going to collect it. I've got to get that. That This could lose. Dear me. Dear me. Okay, well, I can't help but think that, that we're going to have to have a little bit of an upturn soon because it is playing nasty buggers here for some reason. Don't quite know why. Three holds? No, none of that going on as well. So, I'll keep... Uh, we'll keep going. I mean, it should have... 
should have something in it fairly shortly. Considering how many bloody jackpot opportunities I've turned down, I'd rather hope that it'll put us in the feature and land. And what we after? After hair salon, we're after fruit stall. I'll have the trolley dash if we land on that as well. The laundrette we've already had. So I guess I could collect that and see if we can get a couple of... Two! No. But I guess that's the other thing with, with this. Once you've gone past it, like, there's, there's no way of getting the hair salon now. Once you've gone past it, you, you either throw a two. Oh, bugger off. You either throw a two to land on the hair salon, or that, that's basically it, and you're past it. And there's, whereas on EastEnders, of course, because you, you're going around a lapper, you've always got the potential to land on the features. This has been really, really mean here, isn't it? I'm not quite sure why it's been so horrible. Oh, no! <gasps> Premature nudging there. We've, oh, dear me. That, that, that's a bit of a rookie mistake there. I actually nudged away from a feature there. That was very, very careless of me. And, woo, dearie me. I mean, I'm wondering if the fact that it, it's super, super jackpot happy, but it's not letting me get a decent feature or anything like that. Maybe this comes into what I was talking about on the East Enders video. This this kind of strange way that Maygays of this era had of controlling their payouts and controlling their percentages and all that kind of thing. Maybe it is, is a facet of that. Um, I mean, as I am recording this video, the East Enders video hasn't actually gone up, so I don't know if, it, if there's going to be any response to my question that I asked on that video, which is, if anyone can elucidate on this, I'd be very appreciative. Now, I can only get a one now till that's it, and we're, we're now past that. Is the hair salon gone? We cannot land on it now, so we're going to go... There's another jackpot opportunity. What? It surely is. Don't fall down the... Who falls down? Is it Jack? Jack falls down the cellar. I think is it his water bed bursts on Red Jack. Not Percy. Now we can do this. I've just got to stop it on seven or more. We can do this. There we are. I don't, you should never miss that. That's really quite an easy one to hit. Whereas it's not a wheel clamp, is it? No. Well, you'd fancy the chances for getting to get welcome to. So you can just wedge this, and it'll just go one forward or one back like that. Cause it's a little bit chaotic otherwise. Well, let's see if we can get to Rover's Return. To Rover's Return. Same sample. That's like, again. That's a. L I mean, I guess it's a good track to use. Happy Hour, but it is the same sample that East Enders uses for the Queen Vic. So there's six quid. So we've got six quid off the end feature. Oh, very much like East Enders. You're always going to get three quid off it, and then it can do any kind of weird amount it fancies after that. Four, five, six, and above doesn't go up in in like lumps of three quid or six quid like say the uh, the holy grail does on indiana jones so i'm not actually doing very well here am i I'm, how much am i in here let's do um i'm 25 quid in and i've got eight two quid out and um six quid in the bank so i'm not doing very well it doesn't turning down those there we are turning down those jackpots does not appear to have made it any happier so what I might start... See, it just keeps bringing... Maybe I should just be collecting these jackpots. Maybe that's what I need to do here. And it'll do... If it wants to carry on offering things, it will. I, w I am going to try and, you know, get an actual result out of it. So I think if I land on nudges now... Bollocks. <laughs> I was say, if I land on nudges, I might actually collect the jackpot. But no chance of that, unfortunately. Coronation Street has other ideas. So. Now that should be a holder. There we are, yep. That's good. And like EastEnders doesn't take a credit when you get a hold after nudges. Very much a Mayday thing of this era. What can we land on here? Let's go to cabin. Go to cabin. I, oh, would I definitely have a three pound. If I can land on a three pound repeater. I want the fruit store. Can we have a four? No, we can't have a four. I really want the fruit store. I would have the trolley dash if I land on that. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. I mean, we can see a treble bar. Oh. Let's go down bingo. Let's go down bingo. We've lost at bingo. That's a shame. We've lost 40p. This could be trouble. This could be... You lose this more often than you uh, win it. Oh, good, good, good. We're off. We're off. We've had our... I don't know who... Again, like you said, I've never watched Coronation Street, so I don't really... Oh, is that fruit stall? Yay! Fruit stall. Right, okay. We're definitely going to have fruit stall. 
So this, pound of everything, Reg. So this, this works exactly the same as the one on East Enders. So you pick it up or a down, and it doesn't make a huge amount of difference because it will go on as long as it wants to, or it'll stop after one win if it's it. You can't really control it. So it's not like there's any skill involved in collecting. So that's £3.20. We want the repeat now. Come on. <laughs> oh, after all that. And what it can do, and decided to make a liar out of me there, what it can do there is repeat several times, and it can add up to a decent amount, that feature there. Unfortunately, we didn't see it on that occasion, but you would definitely want to collect that. If you, Oh, I would certainly always collect it if I landed on it. That was one of my favourite features. Okay, we just need to avoid run over here, which should be okay. Shall we? Let's have the paper round. Let's see. If I can get it up to the high two pounds, I'll collect it. Ooh, shall we have one more? Come on. Oh, th well, okay. We'll have that. We'll have three quid, and it can repeat. Let's see if we can get a repeat. No. None of these things are repeating for me. That's rather enough. So, obviously, we've got oranges there. And there's, there's no point gambling, really. If, if you're going to exchange, I think the next point puts you up to four nudges. So, oh, well, okay. Let's have the jackpot. Let's have the jackpot. And it plays happy hour again, which is the same sample as you get if you get to the end. But it's preferable to that not very good jackpot sample on East Enders, I would say. So, I, I'd prefer that, but... Overall, it is a great sample package. Uh, we, we could do with landing on the trolley dash, because the trolley dash has got a nice little tune, and the uh, hair salon's got some decent samples as well. It's just par for the course on this era of make. There we are, we've got the hair salon. So now... Although it is that sample, it's the same sample that we've already had, I guess, but... So... And again, she's... Don't like it. Oh, she's happy with it. What you want to hear is, that's not what I wanted. And then she'll get another one. None of these bloody things are repeating for me, which is quite annoying. Although I have at least got a decent wedge of my bank back now, or my, my cash that I've put in rather. So if you can get another couple of decent features, we should be all right here. One thing that you can land on straight away, if you get four, you go through Coronation Street and you go straight up to the top here on a very fast sort of skill stop thing. Uh, we haven't had that. Let's see if we can get the trolley dash on this. I would definitely collect a fruit store, by the way. Yeah, it is. His waterbed is always bursting. He must be of the lard. Don't fall down the cellar. Oh. Oh, no, it's Vera on Vera. It's, it's Jack who falls down the cellar. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I think we Bet can bin us off with something. Something. No, we've made it to the rover's return. Let's see what we get here. So that's two. There's four. It can stop now. It could stop at four quid if it wants to. That's five. Oh, five quid. Not too bad. And like EastEnders, I haven't primed this. I haven't kind of pumped it up or anything like that. I have just picked it up in whatever state it was in from the last time I played it. Oh, well, we'll have that again. Let, let's see if we can get it to be dissatisfied with her haircut this time. So it's blue rinse again. Oh, and she's content. She's very easily pleased today. Normally, or, or certainly as often as not, she's quite fussy. And will go through a decent chunk of what the uh, the various styles that are in offer at the salon. That's quite a rare hold after nudges for a win there. And we got straight into the exchange, which is good. I mean, what, what, what I'm aiming for here is to see if I can get out of here with a profit. Let's see if that's possible. Okay, there we are. This goes very fast. I mean, it doesn't cheat, but it does go very fast. Oh! Go on, then. Let's get let third time lucky. Let, let's have another perm. perm. Ooh, the most expensive one. Good choice. But she doesn't like it. Come on. Oh, for fuck. Ah, God almighty. She's had her hair done. I mean, she obviously not have because she's had her hair done like four times in the last five minutes, so... She's just having to walk around the block and decide she doesn't like it, rather than staying in there and deciding so at the time. Which is no good for us, because it means that we're not getting repeats. But, hey, this is looking a little bit feisty, a little bit lively, this, isn't it? So we can definitely have a nice safe gamble on that. I wouldn't mind getting to the £3 repeater, actually. 
because that's the one thing we haven't had yet is a three pound repeat we've had a jackpot and uh three of the features now the one that we're missing is the trolley dash we haven't had the trolley oh come on oh good 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 let's see what we can land on here we definitely be wanting to avoid end of part one I mean, oh there's another jackpot oh come on we'll just we'll just push up well, that's easy enough. We, we can avoid Percy. I want to land on Trolley Dash. Not Percy. Oh, <laughs> that was a little bit close. Oh, one. No. Oh, my God, you stupid arsehole. He fell down the cellar. Thanks, Jack. Oh, he, he's, he's a little bit of a game over square, he's Jack, I'm afraid, with his uh, propensity for falling down the fucking cellar. But he's done it to me there. I should have had the jackpot. And I am jeopardising my, my ability to make a profit. Right, if I land on nudges and it's a jackpot, I will collect it this time. I think it might be there for four, actually. In fact, I'm sure it's going to be there on six. Yeah, we, let's not let's not muck about. We'll have it on this one. Had quite a good bank here. Not sure. I don't think this is streaky streaky, is it? But if it's still going after this jackpot, there's the potential for calling this something approaching a streak, I think. Let's see if we can get another win or a feature. If it, if it is on one, then we'll we'll know within a few credits because it, it won't muck us about. Okay, well, we'll we will hold that. Three holds would be okay. And that should keep, as memory serves, it doesn't spin the number on a third hold. So we'll keep that too. Don't lose. I'm not going to risk another gamble. We'll just go with that. I mean, if it wants to, it could just spin another jackpot. Right, I think that's going to be there. That may well be there, you know, for six nudges. Oh, come on. <sighs> if I'd have survived that, I'd have kind of fancied me chances there. But I didn't, unfortunately. We've been killed off at the garage. So that... Mm. All right, then let's see where we can get up to. Give it. Now, that should be a holder. And it isn't. Now, the fact that it hasn't doesn't matter now. It isn't a hold after nudges because it would have given it me on the same credit. So... I saw some people get caught out by that back in the day. They kind of, they kind of would put a credit in if they get a, got a nudge on on their last credit and not quite understanding that. Oh, that's jackpot's close. Not understanding how it worked on this. Budgie, yeah, yeah, okay, no problem. Quite cheap to fix that budgie. There's obviously not that much up with it. Okay, we're gonna have another jackpot. I think. Not gonna mess about. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, absolutely, by the way. Um, I don't think there's any other ROM sets ever been released in the emulator, but do not play this on the 8 or £10 jackpot. The one that they had in the arcade here on a £10 jackpot, it really just threw the bats. Exactly the same as EastEnders, and indeed exactly the same as most £6 jackpot machines that got as far as a £10 jackpot. Another one that springs to mind by Barcrest would be Andy Cap. That got as far as a £10 jackpot, and it was just another one where... It just didn't work at all. It just completely unbalanced the game. These machines really need to be played on 20p, £6 is how they belong. So, and certainly, I mean, if, if you ever find one out in the wild that's sort of down on a blooming 5p ago, that, that's, a, that's a horrible state to play any machine that's been... If it was designed for 5p a play, then fair enough. But when it's like a, a downgrade of a, a higher stake or jackpot awp in my experience they just don't work at all and the only way to certainly for, for these maygays and all these sort of classic six pound awps the only way to play them as far as i am concerned is on their original stake and jackpot it is where they give by far and away the best game and it this looks like it's gone a bit dead now doesn't it oh there we are okay We'll have that. Let's just see if we can have a last little hurrah. Wouldn't mind getting to the £3 repeater, but okay, I'll risk... I mean, there's no need to do this here, but another we'll two gamble... Oh, crikey. Shall we have a go? Go on. <laughs> That's the one thing I haven't had yet, is the £3 repeater. That's got a nice little sample on it as well, but I'm not quite sure if we're going to get there now. So... Overall, on balance, I think this machine is probably... You know what? Actually playing this now, I, I think it's probably 
as good as EastEnders. I think EastEnders got into the Hall of Fame above this because of my own sort of... If, if, if you stuck with me for, for the uh, Jack and Ori section of the previous video, then, then you'll, you'll know why. I do have a, a slight emotional resonance with EastEnders that I don't quite have with Coronation Street, but in fairness, I think the two machines are as good as each other. And honestly, you, you could probably just flip a coin. Heads it's Coronation Street, tails it's East, EastEnders. Oh, bugger off. I'm not going to put them both in to the Hall of Fame because fundamentally I, I kind of see them as interchangeable. I, I, I can sort of fire either up and enjoy them and have fun with them. So I'm, I'm not going to put both of them in. It is EastEnders that has already... Oh, chat of held them. And it is EastEnders that has already gone in. But you cannot go wrong firing either of these layouts up and whacking a through few quid through either one of these machines because they are still genuinely entertaining to play and they are good fun albeit with that kind of lower stress if you will mega vibe where you don't really have to worry about hitting anything with skill or weighing up particularly what the best thing to do is they kind of give you whatever they want to, really. I know that won't appeal to some people uh, at all, but I, I just find these nice machines to play. Let's see if we can avoid that wheel clamp. Not a wheel clamp. And we can't. So this now is, is, this is how this machine plays when it's in a bad mood. You can see there it's not really offering me any anything on the feature now. It's a, so at the minute, I'm 43 in and 45 out. Let's just see if I can get anything off a, the a last two quid. So we have got another feature. The only one we've, re we've really missing here, the only one we haven't had is the trolley dash. Oh, here we go, it's this, this thing. Now does that go all the way to the trolley dash or not? You know what, if I'm, if I'm super, super hot here, come on, let's, let's see if I can get... Oh, 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 there we go. Now that, I'll tell you what, that wasn't too bloody shabby for an old fucking man, was it? Now let's collect the trolley dash. I like the sample on this, it's got great music. Trolley dash. You know there, they spelled spell trolley two different ways. They spelt it correctly on on the actual feature text there, and incorrectly on the alpha. Lovely. Is that Blondie? I think it is. I'm not. I'm not too sure to be honest. So. So, now this can repeat as well, because £1.60, of course, isn't very good. That's the only thing we're kind of missing on this. We haven't had any repeats on anything. Apart from when I was turning down my wages from uh, Rita at the paper shop. So, that, that's the only thing we haven't had here. And it's a little bit of a shame, because certainly when the, the fruit stall is the one that really sticks in my mind. When, when that starts going nutty with the repeats... It can be really good, and it makes getting to the end, it makes getting to the rover's return entirely sort of moot, really. If it wants to give you loads of repeats off the fruit stall, it will do. So th there's actually no point going any further round than that. Go on, we'll have one last bloody punt at the salon. Come on. There we are, that's a good start. Now, do not be happy. Not what I wanted. That's what we wanted. That's not Ooh. what I wanted. There we are. This is going better, isn't it? I think I have to put credit in it. Oh, bugger. So 540. All cash. So 540 all cash. I mean, this is, to me, just this little session here sort of typifies everything that is so good about these old, old, old AWPs. If you still play fruit machines occasionally out in the wild, I mean, God help you, if you've ever played one of these bloody things on... Oh, fruit stall! Fantastic! On a £100 jackpot. Can you imagine playing a fucking fruit machine on a £100 jackpot? They're dire things. They're awful. They absolutely are. These old ones are so, so much better. They were so playable, so enjoyable. Let's see... If we can get some repeats, guys. I'm going to get at least 320 here, I think. Don't stop there. Carry on. Oh, it stopped at 320. That's a bit of a shame. But let's see if we can get a repeat out of it. Yes, there we are. That's a little bit more like it. So we'll go up on this one. Doesn't really make a huge amount of difference. And I think it does do the same thing as he says. Where if it fills them all in, you get 580. A bonus winner, 20p. And then, it, you know, you can carry on repeating after. Oh, that's just looking okay. Don't... Come on. Yes! Now, there's... 
There we are, bonus 20p, and now we've got a jackpot. And it can still repeat again, it can go again as well. So this is a nice little flurry just to finish off here, and will put me comfortably in profit for this session. Oh, no repeat, no extra repeat. So we'll collect that, but that's quite good. Good, we've finally seen it. Uh, but it can go bigger than that. I'm sure I've had like 15, 16, 17 pounds off the fruit stall, something like that, which is a nice little run when it happens. Uh, maybe just a last pound, just to see if it wants to very quickly give us something else. Uh, we can't even get two of a kind there, can we? I mean, we will know fairly quickly. One more pound, and I think that'll tell us if it... I, I don't think it's a streak. It was just a last little f three olds on that, maybe? No. And, well, that should be... The, I'm sure there isn't a double bar up there. So that should be a holder. No, I think it's probably dead now. Well, that's gone on for long enough, I think. I mean, you get the idea. It's just a really good, playable old AWP with, with, uh, AWP with genuinely fun gameplay. To go back to where I started, the layout is 15 years old. It still stands up today. I'm sure if Alt Ademu were making it today in the here and now there were there were things that that he could do better but it's interesting to see the evolution um of of because if you look at his work in the latest version of the emulator he's released uh three or four absolutely fantastic dx's for the the latest versions of mfme we've got a couple of bwb mpu4 video machines which i will be covering in their own videos as well and most recently of course that i've already covered 777 heaven cannot stress enough get that thing on a 4k screen and it is truly gobsmacking it's awe-inspiring it really is but you can see that, that the man had a huge amount of talent back in 2003 as well because we've got a 15 year old dx here which i can happily play and it still looks great so that's coronation street for you not going into the hall of fame but on balance like i say you could bring it down to a coin flip eastenders has gone in but you know what honestly i think coronation street is just as good so that's the end of this video thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed it see you next time but for now goodbye